Hi, so this is the spiritual crystal card reading for Leo for the month of May. So let's see what is your main energy. Main energy for May for Leo. And this is um, Iron Tiger. Iron Tiger? Yeah, Iron Tiger. So this is, um, what does it say to us? First of all, it is be the observer. Okay, so take a little one step back and look. What is there for you? What is going on? What is moving into your life? What are the opportunities maybe? There are some, maybe some opportunities for you that are coming your way. So be there, be aware about them. So see what is then. Uh, so by being this one step back and looking at it, it will be more easier for you for to acknowledge them. What is good for you? What is there? What can you do? How can you move on? You know. So that's your main energy. So let's see now for the first week. First week of May, and this is magnetite. This is magnetite, so that means uh, again balance, balance um, your. I would say balance the whole being. I mean, it's really like it is grounding. It is grounding at the same time. It is also taking in the information, the the universal energy, being in tune with the universe at the same time as you are in tune with the earth, you know. Also be in balance with your male and female energies. Let's see where it leads us. Let's see where it goes for the second week. Second week of um, May. And this is Rhodonite. So Rhodonite is definitely there are changes for you. There are changings. There are a lot of things changing. It's a month where things will come to you and they will really change um, maybe not your life, I wouldn't go so far as your life, but they will make changes in your daily life. They will be making changes in your daily life. And I want to go one more on the second week because we have this anisalonite, yeah. It is like, it's. I think it's necessary for you to concentrate on your higher self. Be in tune with your higher self know what is good for you and meditate so meditate with what is for you what is for you the right thing to do because there are these changes so but for to make the right step in your life you will need to be in a good balance you will have a good state you will have to be really in your body strongly very well aware about your body but at the same time also be really good aware of from your higher self so introduce this higher self your higher self into your body be this one be your temple be your soul be your body be your everything and then you will make the right decision what is new for you well which road to take what to do okay so, because it may be that there is something that you've lost something and you always are looking at the something you have lost and you are not aware about what is given to you because you cannot acknowledge what is given to you because you are concentrating on the past. So, if this is the case, really be the whole being and tune in with your higher self and be ready for the changes. Um, embrace the changes instead of being sitting there and thinking about what has gone and the past is gone and the past was so nice and this and this and this and you don't see what is coming to you the new thing that is given to you that will maybe even better so let's see for the third week third week is soda light so soda light is um, deeper insights deep insights so by being this whole harmony, being this oneness, higher self, body, mind, spirit, being this all one unit, one thing, you will go deeper within and understand deep insights, deeper insights. So what I would suggest for you to do is meditate with selenite and at the same time, 
to make an elixir with uh, soda light so that you can take a few drops of soda light a few times a day for to be in tune with your deeper insights with the third eye and with the higher vibration of with the higher vibration of um, your spirituality just just let it flow just let it flow I would I would not make it too complicated you know I wouldn't make it too complicated I would just say meditate on your higher self with your higher self allow this oneness this feeling of oneness that you are the everything in one at once everything so that you are in balance also with your female and your male energy so that you can allow the new thing to come deeper insights on the third week what does it mean the deeper insights maybe there are things that you don't want to acknowledge from yourself maybe this has to do with the past maybe it has to do with the past that you are still hanging on the past instead of moving on so see have a look at this what's happening at the fourth week fourth week is socialite this is moving on so socialite that is like you move on to the next step take responsibility for your life be the one be responsible don't say ah i couldn't do it because they didn't want it that's rubbish okay we are all one so we are also taking our own decisions nobody is making decisions for us we are making our own decisions we can make our own decisions in harmony with the other people of course we are not going to be the ego tripper and doing all the things on our own and it doesn't matter what the others say that's not what i mean what i mean is here you are responsible for your life nobody is making your life nobody is making you happy nobody is making you sad you allow the other people to make you happy you allow the other people to make you sad and if you are if you are dependent on the other people for to make you happy of course when the other people don't want to make you happy you won't be happy okay so that's uh, a little little line in between so what this means socialite be responsible for your own being be responsible for what you're doing be responsible for your action action reaction a nice action a nice reaction a bad action a bad reaction that's as simple as it is it does it's not more complicated as this so you are responsible for yourself nobody is responsible for you so stop thinking about the past what is taken from you and look what is given to you okay so let's see what is a message from the angels message from the angels for may and this is okay this is some um, smoke quartz so smoke quartz is actually saying what the angels are telling you is like let go okay let go you have you are holding on on the past and it doesn't allow you to move on so don't forget now that we are working here with the energies also from the universe also from the stars from the planets from the whole system okay this is all wave no not one wave there are a lot of waves of so it depends on how you are at that moment what are you taking in from this energy no it's like we are all little radios and we have our little button there and we tune in and everybody gets its own music depends on which channel you are tuning in okay for the moment your tuning is um observing and allowing the new to come into your life this is the opportunity given to you this is your main energy so of course you are free you can take it now or you cannot take it you can also say i don't want to take it for the moment because i want to do something else it is your plain right and nobody is forcing you to do the opposite everybody does and take the things in their own time when you are ready for it we don't force anything the only thing is it's our possibility opportunities to move on that's all what it is so 
when you see this reading, and when I see this reading, and the angels are telling me at the end, here we are at smoke quartz, that means definitely that you have the opportunity, it's given to you, for to release a, past, a part of the past that is holding you back for to be in your full potence, for to be your full being, and to take your own uh, decisions, to make your true own decisions and to be responsible for yourself and not to be dependent of some situations or other people. Because one of our most important things is our personal freedom as well. So if we are all uh, responsible for our actions, the world would be really a better place. Because we would not make an action and then expecting somebody else to clean up our mess. Because it's our action and we take the action but we also are responsible for the reaction. So we make the decisions who are right for us and who are right for our surrounding. But when you are sitting still with your past hanging over your shoulders, how can you possibly be in your purest state of power, of mind, of happiness, of love? How can you function from that point if you have your past who is bringing you down with things that you haven't let go, that you didn't let go, things that are still holding you back for to move on? So, use the opportunity and you can meditate with smoke quartz or you can make an elixir with smoke quartz and drink it through the day. Uh, sorry, an elixir, make it in a small bottle and take a few drops of it or you can put a smoke quartz into a uh, jar of water, one liter of water and drink it through the, day, through, the, through the day and let it stand, fill it up and let it stand for the night and drink it again next day. You can also wear an uh, iron tiger. Iron tiger, what will help you to resolve, to let go of the pain as well from the past. So, this is for the month of May. So, if you would like a spiritual, personal spiritual crystal card reading or more information or a guided meditation, a healing guided meditation, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.